um, we get to visit Petro Kiosk at least once a week with our audience, uh, a royal audience. So what is to become of the future? It could mean very few Petro Kiosks left in Singapore. That's about 120. Uh, by 2030, that means 240,000 square meters of land available for invention, things that can promote interest in the community. So Singapore is a very small yet well-connected city. All the petrol kiosks are located as part of the urban infrastructure, well-connected to roads, networks, green and metro networks. So um, they are com located on community-connected high-value parcels of land. So we are asking the question, can they serve the community better? And sure, we're not the first to think about the future of the defunct petrol kiosk. Many people have invented things like uh, marijuana farms, practical spaces, imaginative uses, art installations, pop-up parties. You know, there are endless opportunities to be explored, but how do you make them relevant to the community? So like most people, I'm a big fan of being disrupted. You know, never going to the shopping mall, watching everything on Netflix and never really leaving my home. We are thinking that people might need something a little bit different, a few other things to do, the, a reaction to being constantly disrupted. So what is the opposite of being disrupted? Is this a clue as to what we need? So we have 25 ideas of what can be done to retrofit the petrol kiosk. Temporary measures until the Singaporean government sells them to build more boring condominiums and shopping malls. We think there's an opportunity to do something wonderful, inspiring and fun something that's about the community and for their future well-being. So the first of these ideas is in support of the circular economy. So we have on the left a repair shop and on the right a second-hand mall. So we live in a throwaway society, but some interesting startups have formed repair centers where you can take broken stuff and get it fixed. The second-hand mall has just opened in Scandinavia and is a big success. So all sorts of products are sold back into the community. This is an interesting one. It's an electric car vending machine. Why own your own electric vehicle when you can rent one fully cleaned and charged? Ford and Alibaba have already prototyped the car vending machine in China that sells Ford SUVs. You don't have to interact with a salesperson and you can buy a car with under 10 minutes. So the closed loop farm on the left actually breeds insects for protein, just like the movie Blade Runner. And um, on the right, you have the flower flower shop where the f it is a local bakery that mills its own flour and florists that sells wool flowers grown by Singapore's national park. Food waste to energy. We waste a lot of food. I'm sure a lot of you over there are wasting food at the moment. So this food is waste to create organic energy. Uh, the former petrol kiosks store the food waste in the old petrol tanks. Aerobic digesters turn it into gas to create ele uh, electricity for the gas powered cars. So at the plastic recycling um, centre, plastic waste is shredded and moulded into Lego light bricks to be used in the construction industry to replace the unsustainable cement blocks. On the right, uh, we have an algae bioplastic printer. Algae is a natural replacement for plastic. So companies in Europe are already doing this um, with producing industrial products made from seaweed algae. This is a swimming pool, a nostalgic idea to bring back Singapore's lost community pools. And next to it's uh, a different type of dipping, prawn dipping at the prawn boker, where you can fish and cook your own supper. So celebrate the seventh ghost month at the petrol kiosk. Also other community events could be held here. So commune with those from the lower realm and burn your incense, paper goods and pay your respects to your ancestors. Enjoy the performances on stage, but just beware to avoid the first row of red chairs, which is reserved for the dead. I like this one. This is the drone home. Um, we're all ready to build and house buzzing things that are changing our urban landscape. We'll soon be flying around in Uber and Grab zone drone taxis. And delivery systems like Uber, DHL, FedEx are going to be dropping parcels off at our front doors in the next 10 years. Domino's delivering pizzas by drone in New Zealand. Singapore is literally digging itself into a big hole. Here it is shown as the petrol kiosk with a portal to the underground. We are building lots of caves, including an ammunition store the size of 400 football fields. So imagine reservoirs, storage spaces, roads, you name it, are already underground. This is about community clustering. And you can cluster programs together to serve the community and stimulate behavioral change. Meaningful interventions that support the well-being of future generations. 
ideas that pioneer a new kind of approach to local community and economic sustainability. Head and heart, not just economics. So we end our presentation with a quote from this very smart robot from Westworld, Dolores Abernathy. So you can read the slides yourself in the next 10 seconds. Thank you all for your time.